So today we'll be assembling the Tamarack TTP2. This is a two module top of the pole system that holds two solar panels. Puppy's helping us today. I just painted these components uh, yesterday. Uh, they come pre-painted from the manufacturer in uh, a gray color and they started rusting immediately. Within 24 hours out of the box they started rusting so I just put uh, some black two component urethane on it. So they're gonna go on this pole here. This is a four inch schedule 40 pipe and I welded a cap on it and then painted the entire pole with two component epoxy and then two component urethane. So it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So let's see how this installs. looks like this looks about right uh, construction is pretty good uh, I think the engineering is very good too uh, it's the only thing the paint wasn't up to my specs but uh, they are welded shut they have nuts welded in one of these goes through here and then I gotta take a look at the instructions Yeah, so here's something the instructions don't tell you. I had a hard time getting the second pipe on in the back, so just fold it forward. I'll show you here in a minute. And put the second crossbar on this way. And then you can just flip the whole contraption over. guy over here you go looks pretty good let's see what's next okay instructions say put this guy on unfortunately there are no washers so I have to take it back off later I don't have washers right now it's in the ballpark Here we go. That could uh, that could be it. Okay, let me find a bolt for this. Yeah, so there's a bolt for it. Let's see. No washer. We don't need washers apparently. Washers are overrated. Okay. Oh, this looks pretty good. This tree has to come down, of course. So let's see what's next. So next you gotta mount these guys. You can see these two grooves in here, so you gotta leave them loose. And when you slide in the aluminum rail, you tighten it against the steel here and that keeps the rails in place. So I'm just gonna put them on here loosely, like so, all four of them. So I flipped the whole mount over again 
because I got to put these aluminum extrusions in here now. So let's see if I'm successful or not. Oh. Again, two people would be really nice. Ooh. Here we go, this worked pretty well. Yeah, so my buddy John came over and uh, helped me put the first panel on. So we started with the bottom panel and tightened it down. Yeah, and then the second panel is pretty easy. You just slide it over the first one. Uh, make sure the electrical outlets are all to one side. And in this case, they are to my left here because it's closer to the cabin. And the top bracket actually holds the bottom panel and the top panel. Yeah, and from there it's pretty easy. You just put the top brackets on and uh, tighten it down and uh, job is all done. So finished product, LG 405s. Uh, these panels are 40 inches by 80 inches. So this is exactly a square now, 80 by 80 inches. And show you how these are mounted. You can see these clips. They have two hooks that face in. So there's a fastener on the other side. So this is just being pulled against the steel. This is how the aluminum extrusion is being held in. And then the same up there. And uh, the panels have these regular solar mounts. You've probably seen them before. And uh, they just, it's completely aluminum. It looks like it's plastic, but it's aluminum. So you can put a whole string of panels on it. Looks like stainless steel screw, aluminum hardware. And then the same up here. You can see how it fits in between these two panels. Yeah, you can adjust the angle back here, which to me, I'm not really super sensitive about but you can adjust it all uh, these are additional bolts to keep it from twisting on the pole i don't think you really need those but they're in here and uh, yeah same in the front large hardware and then lugs to keep this pole from sliding sideways Yeah, so we're gonna wire these two things in series. So I'm gonna have 100 volts open circuit voltage. And we just got a trench through here. It's currently jungle. See the cabin back there somewhere. So I got a trench down there. Uh, distance is probably, I wanna say 60 feet to the cabin. I'm gonna run 10 gauge wire. I don't really need to, I can probably get away with 12 gauge. So here we go, two panels mounted. See you on the next one.